Hey guys, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is out, and this is going to be a game between Liquid Yellow and Enzo. Liquid Yellow will be playing as the blue Protoss player at the 9 o'clock position, and he did put a peculiar pylon here at the very, very edge of his base, and his opponent is already going to be scouting directly after he put down that pylon because Liquid Yellow did pick random, and so it's not really a Protoss vs. Protoss match, it's Protoss versus random match and that would explain this sort of behavior leaving the base super early both these players are probably going to not cannon each other I would assume and there's going to be a gateway inside the base of Enzo at this moment and he is going to be coming across I suspect TLO expect that his opponent is probably going to be scouting and the TLO is also going to be scouting himself a uh, gateway is going to go down directly next to the pylon that is very very close to the side and we also see an assimilator going down for both these players at this moment Enzo coming into the base of Liquid TLO for the very first time does not actually see the pylon and the gateway on the side there just yet and he is probably a little bit worried but he is going to scout the remainder of the base and he will ultimately find the gateway and you may not think this is significant right at this moment, but if you take a look at the income tab, you will see that Liquid Yellow is going to be slightly ahead. He does have the gas already, and he was ahead before because the time it takes for Enzo to run that probe around the map, he will lose a lot of mining time. So he was actually ahead about 40 or 80 minerals per minute for, I think, half a minute or a minute there when this probe was outside the base of Enzo, and Enzo is going to be attacking the pylon for Liquid Yellow. A probe is going to come and probably escort him off the properties, and there is going to be a cyber core for both these players being open, pretty much identical timing, and the assimilator is going to complete. A secondary assimilator is going to go up for Liquid Yellow. Liquid Yellow is probably going to get a more gas-heavy build, probably not an early rush, and Enzo does see that, and Enzo, it appears he does have a fair amount of Corner boost saved and he is going to use it on the cyber core. And it's important that Liquid Yellow sees this because he still has this probe over here attacking the Nexus. If he sees that there is going to be continued usage of the Chrono Boost on the Cyber Core, he could probably suspect that a 4 gate or something similar is going to occur. And we see another Chrono Boost on the Stalker as well as the Cyber Core and ooh, all of the Bruce actually wasted on that Stalker, in my opinion. And there is going to be one Stalker coming out onto the field for Liquid Yellow at this moment. Unit counting station does show one Zealot and one Stalker for Enzo. And Enzo is going to be putting a pylon there, possibly. He is at the 12 o'clock location. And he is probably going to put down a pylon as Liquid Yellow is still going to be scouting for any pylons. Because he probably suspects that his opponent is going to go 4-gate. And that's exactly what he is doing. Enzo is going to go for the infamous 4-gate Protoss strategy and there's going to be a pylon at the 12 o'clock location as well so at this moment TLO does not actually have a giant army he has one sentry and one stalker of a very defensive sort of units because you want that inside and you want it to be able to cut off any reinforcements for your opponent TLO does get spotted by the one zealot and one stalker and he will take down that probe and this pylon over here is actually undetected by TL at this moment and we do see the three gateway coming online there will be a total of four gate and that is another waste of a chrono boost and all of these gateways are going to be turning into warp gate and there is the spotter for TL he just spots this pylon he knows something is going to come his way even though he did not see this one but some stalkers are going to warp in he does have a nice set of sentries another stalker is going to be chrono boosted out and another stalker as well so there's going to be a total of three sentries and one stalker at this moment and four for the forces of Enzo, he does have six stalkers and one zealot and also one probe. The probe is going to come in here and put down pylon. Oh, the probe gets taken out and a force field at the perfect location denying that. That was a really nice play by TL. Probably a little bit of a misstep by Enzo as he did not want to lose that pylon there nor that probe. Because that probe will probably actually give him a lot more scouting information and that he could not normally get with just stalkers and does probably not want to risk it either. There is one pile in here and one pile over here. We will see the army size of Enzo increase quite fast as he does have four warp gates and he probably wants to put those at use. He actually supply block at that moment because he did lose an additional pylon that was directly over here. Great defensive play by TLO. TLO is actually going to go for a two gate into Robo it seems. He is going to have the first Immortal that Immortal will be able to help him hold off some of the stalker pressure. But he needs to get those four skills into good position because at this moment there is an overwhelming number of stalkers there's a total of nine stalkers versus only three stalkers four stalkers now and three sentries sentries and immortals will be what will be important for TLO if he were to hold this off toilet council is coming up probably blink is going to be on the way for Enzo as Enzo is going to be walking in more and more of those stalkers 
Robotics Bay being open at this moment, and Nexus is actually being placed up, and his opponent, Enzo, is not going to be scouting. This is kind of strange. When you have a lot of units on the field, it's always a good idea to scout to see what your opponent is doing, and he is also going to be getting a forge, and the Toilet Council is going to be finished. He has a lot of corner boosts. Will we see Blink, or will we not see Blink? And we see some pressure from TLO. does take down one pylon. No units were lost so far. They were just dancing back and forth. No engagement just yet, and Blink is on the way. Blink is probably a little bit very, very useful for those Stalkers, since he has a mostly Stalker army. More and more Stalkers are being produced at the moment, and there's a total of 10 Stalkers versus 5 Stalkers. 3 Sentries, 1 Immortal, and also 3 Zealots. Inside the base of TLO, he is going to be making his first Colossus, and it is going to be Chrono Boosted. He does have quite a bit of Chrono Boost saved up. He does have 2 more, and his opponent is also going to be Chrono Boosting the blinkity blink ability <laughs> I forgot what it was called there for a second and the stalkers are going to come in stalkers coming in the Colossus is not yet out the stalkers have a good position they could possibly take down this Nexus stalkers inside probably waiting for that Colossus to come out these probes are going back into the base Enzo is applying pressure to TLO TLO snipes off one of those stalkers and the Colossus comes out these probes are going to the mineral line no they're going to help out they take down another stalker good play there by TLO with the force field I mean with the guardian show up he is going to be able to deter this attack from Enzo Enzo with the blink ability was able to save a lot of those stalkers but he did lose slightly more units but at this stage in the game about 10 minutes in this is not a giant discrepancy between these two players, but what is notable so far is TLO is playing very defensively, and he does get that early expansion, whereas the 4 gate is not paying off for Enzo just yet, so that is a pretty good defense. If you have a couple of sentries and one or two stalkers, that will be able to defend against a nice 4 gate if you're able to take down the probe along with the pylon that is going to reinforce directly next to your base. And at this moment, I think Enzo is not going to be using this forge. He has all ground weapon number one, and none of those are yet researched. He does have a good chunk of minerals, and he is not going to get an expansion. He is going to corner boost these nonstop, and he is going to go for a massive stalker attack. And TLO does have good information with this observer there. Good forest fields. Some of these stalkers are in the back, not really engaging. The Colossus is remaining alive. The Zealots are in the front, taking some hits from the stalkers. Very good play there from TLO. He will be able to save these Zealots as well. And ooh, that is a lot of stalkers. Stalkers might be able to focus fire down. This Colossus, Colossus does go down. Another Colossus shows up in the pivotal time for TLO. TLO might be able to hold this off with another Colossus. I think these stalkers are a little bit confused. They were trying to hit the Nexus for some reason. Maybe a misclick there. And he is going to fall back. That was a great timing by TLO. He was able to spawn his second Colossus just in the midst of time. He might have lost that one had it not been for that one unit. And there's going to be an observer. There's no observers for Enzo because he did go for the 4K and he has been non-stop pumping out those stalkers. Not enough gas for any research or an observer. And at this moment, TL does have three gases, but there is absolutely no probes on the third gas. Observer going into the base of Enzo to see what he will be building. But it seems that more and more Zealots are going to be on the way. Zealots are not great against Colossus because he will probably not actually be able to reach the Colossus with his Ninja Blades. And TLO does get a very good idea of what his opponent has, and I believe he has full vision of the base, or he's actually missing some set of pylons along with a chunk of a simulator in the back. We might see another engagement here. TLO is a little bit unaware of this approach, and they're actually shooting the Immortal, which is what the Immortal wants, because the Immortal can take quite a bit of damage before it goes down, allowing a free volley of shots from the Stalkers. Colossus in the back. Colossus is not getting focus fire. Colossus is actually undamaged at this point. It does have two kills, and Colossus is moving back now. Might get focus fire, but that might not be enough as Enzo is once again repelled by TLO. Great defense there. Enzo really needs to expand at this moment. He has a lot of minerals. He has... 400 minerals almost expand. You need to expand. This 4 gate's not working, and he's probably not going to be able to break it because he did have more units for quite a while, but the sentries and the colossus and the one immortal was actually able to hold off for quite a bit. He's making more and more zealots, and zealots are great tanks. However, he needs to be able to... He needs to be able to snipe off the Colossus, which he is not doing at this moment. 
TLO is bursting ahead in terms of economy, and he is going to come back here to possibly defend. As Enzo is going to go for possibly another snipe, he does waste some shots on these stalkers. Even though he did engage first, he did use the first, I believe, first two volley of shots on the Nexus instead of on the stalkers. So the stalkers from TLO, even though they were not the first to engage, were ooh the Colossus goes down. Was able to get I think two free volleys of shots on Enzo, and the stalkers of TLOs are going to come across Army's eyes. It's going to be at 87 versus 38. TLO in a commanding lead right now. Ooh, that might have been a missed blink. Maybe Enzo wanted to blink up here. He probably did not want to blink into a pack of stalkers like that. And GG indeed. Hope you guys enjoy that game. If you like what you see, please do subscribe to me at youtube.com slash GG your face. And next game, game number two, will be coming up very, very shortly as I will be doing that directly after this one. So I'll see you guys at the next game.